Hello friends, now we have come to the end of our journey through the wastelands. Now we saw that towards the end as the denouma of this cosmic drama, we have seen the uh, God of Gods, Prajapati himself, admonishing humans, demons and gods what they should do to save this land, to ward off any kind of waste or weakness or uh, sickness or what we will call this uh, dilapidated situation, a totally dilapidated situation. We see the maimed fisher king. We saw the land all crumbled, towers all falling down, London Bridge falling down, all these things we have seen. We saw so many frustrated people. He came across the Hyacinth girl. He came across Tristan and Isol. And also we saw uh, the people unable to respond to the spring and love. April is the cruelest month. While on the other hand we see Joseph's opening when that after we with the Shure Sute, the drought of Marche had pressed to the Rute and bathed every vine in such liquor. Of virtue of virtue engendered is the flower. So it's a full of imagery of love. Like as we have seen, the small birds throughout night, they open smaller fowl, make a melody. So throughout the night, they cannot go to sleep because it is full of energy and uh, the spring, the fragrance of the spring and therefore they cannot go to sleep but that is not the case. Here you are seeing how the wastelanders in Gurukama, wastelanders, there you are seeing the winter kept us warm, covering everything in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dry two bits. That is enough. So that kind of, from this we come to the end. We saw the first three sections, all solid, all sterile, all boredom, all kinds of boredom we have seen, all kinds of frustration we have seen, all kinds of decay, death. The rat is the hero here, rattled by the rat's foot only. And we saw the second section, a game of chess, all women section we saw, all those women, they played chess with their life and all of them checkmated. So you can see Cleopatra. Then we have the Queen of Carthage, Daido. Sometimes you may ask me, from where did you get sir, this Daido, you know, that is, that is flung smoke into the Laquaria. So that is the dining hall where, description of the dining hall where uh, Queen of Carthage, Daido entertained Aeneas and his followers on their way to Rome. So she fell in love with her and she was infatuated. She was infatuated by him and that one she wanted him to uh, keep him back in Carthage itself. But the man of destiny had to go ahead, proceed with their journey because he was the he was to found Rome. So he went forward on that. This is what happens is she became frustrated. She threw herself in fire and committed suicide. Clear battery, you know, by snake bites. Willingly uh, bringing the snake and uh, allowing the snake to bite those beautiful fingers of her. The infinite variety is. So she committed suicide. Then we saw that uh, the nervous lady. Are my nerves are back when I speak to me? Why, why do you never speak to me like that? So that is what shall we do tomorrow? What shall we ever do? See, frightened by the, what the wind doing there. So that lady. And then uh, the next lady, the next uh, comes to, uh, the frame that comes to, comes before us is Lil. Lil, a person who has lost all her beauty, lost her teeth. You should be, you should be ashamed to look so antique. One of our friends tell her, you should be ashamed. You are a proper fool. These are the, this is how she is reacting to her friend's personal situation. And the friend says that uh, it's the pills that I took. The chemist told me it will be all right, but I have never been the same. But I have not been the same. Yes, that's what she says. Yes. And then you have got the last one, and that is 
Ophelia saying, Good night, good night, good night, sweet ladies, drowning yourself. That by what? Just so all the three sections you'll find this. Only frustrations, only solidness, only dirt and only what do you know, destruction, a kind of series of frames of destruction, perdition, whatever you want to call it. Then we have the fourth section, the death by water comes. So that is a reflection, I told you. It's a reflection on life. Whatever happens, whoever you are, whether you are Jandel or Jew, king or queen, whoever you are, whether you are the Bradford millionaire uh, on whose head the silk hat sits with the assurance sits. So all those people, whatever happens, consider Plebas, who was as handsome and tall as you. Consider what is happening, he is in the world together. So then, and finally we came to this, this section of what we used to call what the thunder said. And what the thunder said, thunder in the form of God in the, in, in God appears, God speaks to you in the form of thunder, da. So that means the humans, the, this is from the Brahad Aranyaga Upanishad. Brahad Aranyaga Upanishad. Upanishad means sitting near the Lord. Upa means uh, uh, near. Upa. Upa means near. Nisha means sitting. Nisha. So Upanishad. So these Upanishads are the interpretations of Vedas. And the uh, Vedas were interpreted to the disciples by the Guru or the teacher. So the teacher here is Prajapati and he gives a he gives his advice, admonition, so to say. You give, you be generous human beings. Then that is Datta. Dayadhava, he told his, uh, his uh, disciples, the demons. Demons are also his disciples. They attended the class. At the end of the passing of parade, he says that uh, Dayadhava, show mercy. All those people who are, you have put in the prison, behind the bars, you you open all the doors for them. Allow them to go free. Don't create obstacles in the life of people. That's what this is. No? So I have had the key turn. I have had the key turn in the door once and once only. That's the thing. And we think of the key. We are each one in a prison. Only at night for hideous rumors. For a revive for a moment. Broken Kori lunch. Broken Kori lunch. Before the prison, before he was incarcerated, he was not broken. He was very really proud and that is the reason why he has been put in the prison. But even then he said, come on, you forgive him and let him come out. And to the gods he said, Demeta. Demeta that is love, tolerance, obedience. So he said, the sea was calm. The sea was calm. The boat the boat responded gaily to the hands as put with sail and all. That's the thing. You would have responded gaily, be, be being obedient to the controlling hands. That's the, so that is what you have to do. Obey. Obey. That is, be tolerant and love, obedient and be controlled by the ultimate, the almighty. That is the advice given to the gods. Understand? So far we have come. And then we see also the rain is the rain. The impending, there is impending rain. How do we know that? Ganga was sunk. Ganga was sunk. The limb leaves waited for rain. While black clouds gather far distant over Himavan. The jingle couch humbled inside. Then spoke the thunder. So it's coming to an end. We are going to have a solution, a final solution, a final answer to this problem of the wasteland created by us, created by the humans, created by the demons, created by the gods, and small gods. So the answer to that is the Tadim. And then here comes I sat upon the shore. I, the speaker of the poem, the fisher king, I sat upon the shore fishing with the arid plain behind me. So the plain, the land is still arid and sterile. 
you remember the another fishing by the fisher king another fishing by the fisher king do you remember that is says while i was fishing in the dal canal on a winter evening long behind the gas house musing over the king musing over the king my brothers wreck and the king my father's death before him so that uh, that time it was so hopeless a situation but now the fisher king is revived and he is asking question shall i at least set my lands in order shall i at least set my lands in order so he is getting energized and so now he says and, and immediately comes london rip this falling down falling down falling down look at this tense there london bridge is falling down you know london bridge was already rebuilt it was there it was an icon of their civilization so it was an it was an icon of culture their culture it was already the rebuilt but then now he says london bridge is falling down he is falling present continuous has the force of future see if you say sentence is like he is meeting him tomorrow that means he will meet him tomorrow so london bridge is falling down means if we continue again in repeat such situations allow such sorted things to happen allow this on towers to fall allow the all the cities become unreal you allow this unreal city under the brown fog of a winter dawn unreal city under the brown fog of winter noon so the and oh city city i can sometimes hear beside the walls of a public war in lower than street the plus and whining of a mandolin and the clatter and the chatter from within where fishmen come to long that so such sorted situations yes the fingers the last the other the, the river stem is broken the fingers of the last leaf cut and fall into the brown land into the brown land the wind crosses the uh, into the wet bank and the wind crosses the brown land and so such situations see if such situations are repeated then there is a caution of warning that and one more experience of the fisher fisher one more experience of the waste land you are going to have and that is why at the end is you know, i will let fit you everyone may smack again so if you do such a thing just as heronimo the character in the spanish tragedy heronimo is mad again is the subtitle of the spanish tragedy written by thomas kidd thomas kidd k y d and this is this no space in the board that is why not right so it says if such a thing happens then heronimo will be mad again heronimo was mad for a purpose like hamlet was mad for a purpose there was a method in, in, in madness as polonius observed as well as hamlet is concerned as well as hamlet is concerned then here he says he mad again means he remembers mad with a purpose what was his purpose to take revenge upon the killers of his son so also he says that the speaker of the poem says that if such things happen if he allow the london bridge to fall down I, the hero no more will again will become mad and he will do something to prevent or take revenge to take revenge upon those perpetrators of this crime that is making a fertile land a waste land understand now you have got a bundle of protection and all those protections have meaning they are connected also as you can see the first one here immediately after landon bridge is falling down it is french and they will feel please forgive me french pronunciation yes so it is poise poise as cause near forward he glee afina that is he joyously hid himself in the purgatorial fire the context is dandy's visit to purgatory and there he sees his friend and his he whom he considered greater than greater than himself 
it will make clear fabro dedication of the poem. So th that is under Daniel, the prolonged poet. He is suffering in the prolonged in the purgatorial. And he says that in Canto 26, purgatorio, purgatorio, second section, three sections of the Divine Comedy that is known to you, Paradiso, then uh, Purgatorio, and uh, Inferno. Yes. In the purgatory, he sees this poet. He is turning upside down in the purgatory of fire. But he is very happy. He says, it is because I am suffering from the lust of sin, sin of lust. So I am happy. I am purified. I am purified like gold and fire. And so because I am waiting for something, what is that? If I am purified here, if I happily suffer this, this penance, do this penance, next a few seconds or a few moments, eternity, we don't know what, what is the what is the length of these seconds or few moments, we do not know, but I will get my, my place in heaven. I am going to enjoy celestial happiness. So for that, no, no pain, no gain. So for that I am suffering now. Immediately after this, when I am purified, I will be taken by angels singing celestial songs, heavenly songs and hymns to heaven, in the, in the bosom of Heavenly Father. So he says, I am very happy. And after saying this, he hid himself within the purgatory of fire. So that is the meaning of this. He hid himself within the purgatory of fire. Happily. So like that, the suggestion is that, that we must also suffer. We must do penance. We must be purified. Then what will happen? Wasteland will become a fertile land. Which in the wasteland, you will get the promised kingdom of God. You can transform this land into the kingdom of God, provided you have practiced Datta, Demida, and Datta, Deyatavam, and Demida. Purify yourself. So that is, that is an mention. The second one, Kwando Fiyam Utti Chelidon. That is Latin. So you can read and write as you, you can read it as you write it. As I told you the other day, it is a phonetic language. Reading and writing in the same way, so reading it becomes very easy, not like French. Quando fiam uti chellon o swalo swalo. That is taken from Per Vidilim Venice, him to Venus. That is by unknown author. The name of the poet is not known. Per Vidilim Venice means him to goddess Venus. It also means him to Spring and love, spring and love, swallow the songbird. So the writer of the poem says, when will I be like the swallow? Why should I be like the swallow? To sing of spring and love. Remember in the beginning of the poem, April is the coolest month. Now I want to sing, I want to say that, Oswala says, I want to say, April is the most beautiful month. April is the most beautiful month because it is the like it is the season of love and it is the spring season. It is the, it is the season of love, romance, flowers that? and songs of birds. So how when will I become like that? That means you are hoping for the wasteland to this wasteland to be converted or transformed into a fertile land. So that is that is that is what the poet he, is expecting when he writes this line. Okay, and the third is left friends, left friends, the Aquitaine Alan Aboli. That is again French poem, but with the Spanish title. The title is El Des El Desticado. That is by Gerard Nerval. Gerard Nerval. Gerard Nerval, yes. So that is his, the unfortunate king, the disinherited prince. The unfortunate means in the tower, means person. Tower is person. As I say, what happened? The prince is in tower. I am disinherited. I, I have been robbed of my possessions. I am disinherited prince. I am in tower, in prison. So what is the way out? The way out is, I have to do penance to come out of this. Again, the same thing. The, but it is in the poem it says 
I am disinherited, I have, I have suffered a loss, I have suffered grief, I have, I have had a lot of agonies I have to go through, but yet I am happy to sing of those experiences, whether it is happy or whether it is sad or whether it is happy. Irrespective of the weather, the, the quality of the experience, whether it gave, gave me pressure or whether it gave, gave me pain, it does, I don't care, I want to sing of that. So that is the meaning of this line. I am disinherited, I am in the tower, but all my sufferings, I want to convert, use it as subject matter for my song, my poem, my expression, my art. So that is what the poet is doing here. The theory is doing the same thing, no? First three sections of the number. But he the dead, a game of chess. The five seven or the experiences, or the frustrating experiences, but still the poet sings of them. So it has got meaning here also. So all the three is very well connected, and meaning is in a way you can say there is an amalgamation of meaning, not separated. That some people think that it is what do you, what do you call these are. Uh, dispersed meditations, as Bacon would say. These are not dispersed meditations. There is unity. See, look at this. First one, I suffer because I will get heaven. And next one, I want to be like a swallow to sing of the spring and love. And third is, although I have got many bad experiences in life, tragic experiences, I want to sing. I want to write. These fragments I have shoved against my wings. Who said this? Speaker of the poem. Who is the speaker of the poem? He has a little himself. It's another, my double. It's my double. It's hypocrite too. My double. See that? So he says, these fragments I have shoved. Some shoring up is there. The shoring up. See, putting them, bringing them together, shoring against my ruins. Here, just before that he says, the prince of Akitrin in tower, he is ready to show up all his experiences and grief and loss and write that poem. Speak out. Same thing he says, these fragments I have shown against me. He is also a descendant. The other is, the poet is a disinherited prince. The poet has suffered a lot of griefs in life, private as well as public, and frustrations. See? Solid experiences. I have used this word solid many times because, as you can see, all these frames are like that. Yeah, then you have got by then, then. I am five months of short against my ruin, like the prince of equity. So he identifies himself with the prince of equity. And then he says, this man. Why then he left it? Hieronymo is mad again. Hieronymo is mad again. Hieronymo, I told you, character, major character in the revenge play written by Thomas Kidd. The title of the play is The Spanish Tragedy. Its subtitle is Hieronymo is mad again. So Hieronymo's son was murdered. At the end of the play, he was asked to write a play and also act it out on the stage for entertainment of the guests. He said, I will fix it. He said, I will. He said, yes, I will do it. Why then will I fit you? Why? I will write a one that is fitting for you. One that is fitting for you. What is in him, in his mind? So I will write a play that is in such a way that you will see actually what happens and how his enemies murdered Hieronymus son. So, taking revenge. I'll show you. Actually what happened is, he did it. He wrote the play, he also acted in that, but instead of a fake encounter, he stabbed with sharp knives. With, instead of stabbing with a blunt knife in the, in the play, while acting. While acting the play, he was Supposed to, as the character, he was supposed to stab his enemy with the, a blunt knife, a fake encounter. But actually what he did, it was, it was the real encounter and he stabbed his enemy with the 
the killer of his son, he stabbed him and killed him. And he bite out his tongue. Uh, to, so that if somebody, he, to, he bite out his tongue so that even if others humble him, but why did he do like this? He won't be able to speak. So he himself destroyed his faculty of speaking by biting on his tongue. Because he did not want to reveal the whole thing. And he said, Hieronymus is mad. People thought he's mad, but he has not mad. He was taking like Hamlet, taking arms against the sea of troubles. So here the sea of trouble is mother of his son, Horatio. By the prince of Portuguese, Portuguese prince, Portugal, Portuguese prince, Balthasar, and his accomplice. So on the stage, instead of a fake encounter, he there's a real encounter. And he kills his son's mother lives and takes revenge flood of blood on the stage and he run on by the young understand? So this is a warning. If London Bridge falls down, allow if if you allow if you cause the London Bridge to fall down, he run is mad again. Now one madness is over. Yeah, out of this madness, you have the wasteland poem, 434 lines. The first great modernist poem. When the poem was published immediately after that, there was a comment that a new kind of literature has appeared, which nobody can understand. After a few years, another comment. There is a new kind of literature. That is the type of literature that we were waiting for. Well, see the difference. How audience reacted to this. So that next time if such a thing happened, Hiranya will be mad again. They will take revenge. This time I do not take revenge, but next time so will be revenge. In what form we do not know. So that is the relevance of this quotation from the Spanish, Spanish story. I hope you understand. So well, he says, why then I will fit you? He agrees that I will write a play, I, I will also be acting in that. I will fit him. And what I do is, he appeared to be mad. He pretended to be bad and killed his son's mother. That's what happened. So there's madness with the mother. There is a reason for madness. Then comes the last benediction. Dutta. Dayata. Dimyata. Give, show mercy and be obedient, self-control. Then what will happen? Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, that is peace. Peace, not the peace of your intellect. It's that peace that passes understanding. That's what Eliot himself said. It's not intellectual. It is not supported by logic or argument. Then what is that? This experience of peace. The heart, heart level. Not head level peace. Head level peace is intellectual peace. You have got reasons, you can give reasons, cause, effect, all those things here. Yeah. Logic, philosophy, philosophical versions, etc. It's not that. This each one feels. As the psalmist cried out, Taste and see how sweet is the Lord. It is not uh, by reading your books on theology you will find the way you get the word experience. You can read all the volumes written by the great uh, Father of the Church, Thomas Aquinas. But still you are not going to experience God. That will be at another level. You want to experience God? That has to be at the level of this heart. 
it should not go beyond your neck. If it goes beyond your neck, it becomes another plane. That is not what Tiyasiris means, not a Shanti means, not Tiyasiris Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Well, my dear friends, we have completed the discussion of the wasteland in five sections. And uh, I would suggest that I have already given you 11 lectures. Starting with the, you remember epigraph 1, 2 the dedication, 3 burial of the dead, 4 and 5 a game of chess, 6, 7 and 8 the fire sermon, 9 death by water, 10 and 11 what the thunder said. We have come, concluded that. I would, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed it. And whatever it is, I would like to get your suggestions. You can send it by email to Professor Thomas Matthew at gmail.com. Whether you like it, you dislike it. Whether you find it useful or find it useless, please take two or three minutes to convey your feelings, to convey your impressions of my lectures about the wasteland to me. Okay, that will be great help. I will value it even after my death. See, that is, you, you may ask me why death by what? Understand? So, please do that. Why? And uh, sooner or later, I hope that within two, uh, two weeks, I will be reciting the entire poem at one stretch. You know, without any break. Of course, with your help. Sometimes I may miss one or two words or one or two lines. But you will excuse me, I hope. So, thinking that you will excuse me, I am putting, I am practicing. I think in two weeks, I will be able to complete my exercise practice and I will be able to stand before you and recite the whole thing, all the 434 lines in five sections before you. Understand? So let's wait for that. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.